Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with another package in the mail uh, from Japan. Now this is the um, the remainder of a recent spate of MSX items that popped up um, on the auction site that I monitor, uh, where crazy prices were paid for some of the titles, and then I suppose because all the bidders were going flocking towards the bright and shiny titles, um, some of the other titles were a bit cheaper. Plus. A couple other items that have come along for the ride, um, most of them absolutely dirt cheap. Um, one of them I've paid a bit more for, and that one's actually on top. So we'll go for that one first. I haven't taken them out of the box, so... <sighs> Finished work, I want to relax, so I actually really want to play this game in particular. Um, Alright, so this is a title for the uh, Mega Drive, so Japanese Mega Drive. I have actually had this title before. Uh, back when I very first started YouTube, I got a bunch of Asian Mega Drive copy games. And one of these was this game, um, which is Vape Trial. Now, from memory, this cover is slightly different from the one I had because it was it was an Asian copy of it. In this box I've got about 40 Mega Drive games. Um, some of them I kept but most of them I traded away in the end. Um, and it was well before I decided that I wanted to you know focus on shoot 'em ups as my primary collection aim. And it was probably more back in the days when I was working on my Mega Drive collection. So I traded it off um, We've, um, we've actually uh, Lawn Boys Post 1975, Dave, um, and he enjoyed it. It's not one that he had back in the day, but he still likes it as a game. So this is complete. Yeah, I believe the cartridge label is different from, from that one as well. So I've never actually played this game, and it's a vertically scrolling shooter, and I do actually quite like uh, vertical shooters. Let's have a look what we've got in the manual. Oh, the manual's not too bad either. So it's, it's all in pretty good condition. Sorry, you're not going to read that from back there. And it's manuals in colour as well. Um, so I'm actually quite looking forward to, um, to playing this game. So there are a few, I can't remember exactly how many items are in this box. So if this video gets a bit long with all of the game, you know, if there's a few game plays, I shall split it into two. Probably into an MSX section and another section or something like that. It depends. It depends how we go. I honestly can't remember what's in it. Yeah, I do. I can see what these what system these titles are for. They do wrap things up very well. So we're switching systems again. That should be from memory the only Mega Drive title in there. So we go to the PC Engine, which I haven't really had a lot of, any games for for quite some time. And I believe there's a couple more shooters to round about my collection. So this one is P47, which I believe is a horizontal um, shooter. Oh, we've even got a little bit of foam in there. And our cover, so that's all complete. Um, I have seen a gameplay of this, and you know, apparently it's nothing to write home about. But still might be, you know, decent to play. It's not as bad as, not as bad as others. Not as good as others, if you know what I mean. So it's not the best game on the system. It's not the worst. Now this one is a um, so it's another shoot 'em up in the connection for the PC Engine, and it's pretty much a completion upgrade. So I have this as a loose card. So this one is available for trade, and it's side arms. And it's actually quite a good game. I actually quite enjoy this one. I've had this game for quite a long time. I got it um, after I got my PC Engine. I uh, an actual PC Engine popped up on a local Australian eBay. I got my PC Engine from Japan, um, and it had 40 Hue cards with it, so or 40 loose Hue cards. And one of those Hue cards was Sidearms, and I actually have played that game quite a bit. This is in really good condition. Front case has got no marks on it whatsoever. Inside we have uh, a little bit of foam too, and you've got our art repeated there. It's actually quite a good fun game, um, and there's a um, sidearm special edition for the um, 
for the CD-ROM system as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. I probably haven't actually played that game for a while as well. Uh, one more for the PC Engine. I don't think there's any more hiding in there. Um, and I've actually got this game on quite a few systems now. Uh, this was actually the version I was after in the first place, but I've ended up with the Mega Drive version, the Famicom version. Um, I'm missing one somewhere. Maybe I got it for yeah. I don't think I got it for, no, I don't think it's out for the Saturn, but it's actually uh, Karuku Tiger, or I suppose it's Twin Cobra, isn't it? No, no need showing you the back. It's in really good condition. We've got the foam. And the hue card and the cover. So, you know, it's just rounding out a few more items in the uh, PC Engine Shoot 'em Up collection. So, next we shall move on to another system. I'm purposely leaving the MSX items till last year, by the way. So, next we have, and it is not a Shoot 'em Up, uh, but I got it pretty cheap. Well, for once the sticker isn't over the screenshot, I'll take it off anyway. But, it, and I'm just really curious to see what this is like in comparison to the MSX version, but this is Era Yi A Kung Fu. One of the very first Kung Fu games, or karate games, we went up against multiple opponents. Um, now the MSX version was first before the Famicom version, but it'll be interesting to see what this is like. Copies in yeah, it's got a few dings and things. I didn't pay much for this at all. This is not a rare title, but at all it pops up all the time. People probably pay too much for it lately. Instructions have got a couple little folds on it. But the cartridge, and like other Konami titles, has a top label. It's actually quite a good um, label, and it's completely different to the MSX label. Most Konami titles look very similar to the MSX ones, and sometimes, you know, if you don't look closely at the um, different cartridge shape, you could mistaken them for the MSX one sometimes. It just depends on the title. So, you know, quite pleased at getting that one. Um, oops, almost had a fall down. Now, this one I got purely because it's a Konami title. Um, I believe it's a strategy game. Uh, so I got it because it's a Konami title and it's complete. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to play it. But it's Cosmic Wars. It's actually in really good nick. But it does look like it is a strategy game. Um, if you know, fleets, betting fleets. There's. doesn't seem to be an overly amount of candy on there. You never know. We we just yeah we won't know how playable it is. So interesting CPU it's actually seems ought to be all there. So we have quite a large manual, obviously being a oops, being a strategy game, it would probably have a lot of instructions. There's a few pictures in there as well. And our cartridge put our plastic tray and everything and our baggie this one doesn't have a top label this will be a later Konami title perhaps I don't know or, or maybe it's an early one I don't know nineteen eighty nine so it's a later one and they made their packaging a little bit more standardized perhaps But that's in really good condition, so a nice one to add to the Konami collection. And yeah, the box is slightly bigger than the the earlier one. Um, oh, hang on, we've flipped systems again. Right, okay. I thought these were Famicom games, but they're not. There's a game for another non MSX game that I forgot was in here. Yes, list, list hidden under other of these games are, by the way. Um, I think I've now got most of them. But it is for the Sega SC3000, SG1000. I've really got to try and compile a list. Now, I do have this cartridge loose. Uh, I'm certain I've got this. This is GP World. So this is the 
Formula One. Come on. Let's knock it by ball. There we go. The Formula One racer. So I just, this was only a couple of dollars, so I thought I'd. I mean, most of these titles are available by it now, fairly cheap, but still, you know, it can add up. So finding, you know, complete ones to upgrade loose copies. So there's the cartridge there. And, right, okay, so no manual for this one, but that's okay, we've got the box. Not particularly, for, it labels in really good condition too, so put that away. So, another title for the um, Sega collection there. Now, unless I've made any mistakes, the rest... Oh, well, there is a, another NES title there, but hidden in there, but we'll, we'll, we'll switch you across to MSX. So this is a game for the MSX that I've never heard of. Sort of bump my camera angle though, you're sort of getting hints there. Um, so it's another Namco title, and it's obviously one of their later ones. Um, I have no clue what this game is about, but I'll tell you what it looks like now that I've seen the screenshot on the back. There was a game for my original Spectre Video Computer that actually came with it called Armored Assault. It was a two-player game where you had to try and destroy the... you shoot the player, but also the main aim was to shoot the, shoot the player's in, uh, fortress. So, a lot like combat on the Atari 2600. So, this one's called Tank Battalion. It's in a tiny, really little case that's just the size of the cartridge. A little bit of label lift on the edge, but at least we've got the edge label. So, seriously, I, don't, I do not know how rare this game is. The rest, other than that label lift on the top, though, it's in spanking condition. I love these Nemcot cartridges with their you know, hole in there to make them easier to pull out and everything like that, and they're very distinctive features. I'll have to try and, because the sticker was something you stick on yourself, and there's the, so there was a little sticker, which is probably, I wonder where the little sticker was intended to go, maybe on the side of the box, that one's no longer there. There's a itty bitty little manual. So I don't know, this could even be a two-player game, right? So we'll have to see how we go. Never played it, never knew it existed. It's probably, you know, in the ROM database and on the ROMs that I, you know, could have played, but uh, I just hadn't heard of it before, so... Um, looking forward to playing that one. I'm just going to have to do some bit of repair and maintenance on that label so we don't, otherwise it'll finish peeling off and we'll lose it. But, um, very, very interesting and pretty much, it looks like... Looks like Armoured Assault for the original spec video. So we'll ditch our box now and unwrap our last part. Right, so how the package has come is we've switched to our. Sorry, I'm just getting rid of the stickers. Famicom title. So it is a complete in box with controller. What feels like it's with controller, we have to check. Arkanoid 2. I'm actually quite a fan of Arkanoid, I really liked the game back in the day, and the MSX version is actually a pretty good, damn good version, I remember playing it heaps back in the day. It's another one of the games that I do not know um, what happened to my copy, although now that I'm getting confused, because the MSX one came with a custom controller as well, at least it did in Japan, but I don't ever remember seeing, remember having a controller for it, so maybe I'm just remembering getting a pirate copy of it. But this Arkanoid 2 is in really tip-top condition. Just a little bit of shelf wear. But, um, great art. I just thought it, you know, nice to have a, a um, good display piece for the Famicom collection since I've gotten into it so heavily. And I actually really do enjoy the game. I don't think I've ever played Arkanoid 2. I mean, I suppose it just has more levels. Sorry, trying not to... being tricky to open. Because it doesn't open that way. Okay, so opening up, we have, there's two different coloured controllers, there's a black one and a blue one, uh, but we've got the blue one, 
uh, and I believe the Arkanoid 1 controller doesn't have um, two buttons like this one, so it is different from the Arkanoid 2 controller. And we've got our cartridge and the controller and our plastic, so everything's complete. I'm actually quite looking forward to playing this one. We have a couple of registration cards and another registration card and what looks like to be some sort of a brochure. No actual manual. Do not know whether we're missing them or not. Well, hang on, what's. I haven't looked under the cartridge ever. Ha ha! Under the cartridge is the manual. So we are complete. Um, so there's our cartridge, it's in good condition. No top label. But like potato ones don't normally come with top label stickers, so that was mainly Namcot. And here's our controller. So I take it we. So you got there, a button there, and another more clicky button there. That button there's a bit of a funny button. Anyway, we'll work that out. Never used one before, so yeah. Just a nice, um, not only a nice display piece to add to the collection, but um, a game that I'll, I'll enjoy playing as well. So, Okay, a couple more MSX titles. And they are continuing the trend, all complete. So next we have Hypersports 2. Now I believe I may have this one loose. So this may become a trade. So it's in pretty good condition. Um, ah, spine fight. This is, this is, yeah, the recent lot, so my last video, this must all be from the same person. Oh, it is listed at different times. It's probably in better condition than the other ones, though. There is fade, but it's not as faded as the others. But I am just quite happy to get titles complete like this. Just take that sticker off now. The sooner you remove them when you get them, the easier they come off. Okay, the stuff's in there back to front. Sorry, the manuals actually come out. So we have the actual manual. We have a Konami computer software catalogue. We'll have a closer look at that in a sec. Quite interested in having a look at that. And we have the cartridge. So this is very complete. And the cartridge is in awesome condition. So it's probably not that long since I've done a gameplay of this. Because I don't think I got that Hypersports 2 that long ago. But, okay, so we have in here, we have, we've already got a game listed that I've never heard of. Let's go this, through this together. So we have Athletic Land, Magical Tree. I don't think I've seen Magical Tree before. Uh, Konami's Tennis. So it was ping pong I got recently, I don't have tennis yet. And Hypersports 2, the game we just got. Of course, Antarctic Adventure, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, Monkey Academy, I have actually seen that game back in the day. I don't have a copy myself. Uh, oh, Comic Bakery, a real fun game. Uh, the Konami's Mahjong. Now, Funnily enough, that Mahjong's one of the games that sold for a lot of money. None of the other Mahjong games ever sold for a lot of money, so that one's got me totally confused. Um, now, the Hypersports ones were ones I didn't play back in the day. We didn't get those, but we did actually get the Hyper Olympics, or Track and Field, um, as they were called in the West, 1 and 2, and I really enjoyed those. Don't have copies of it, any of those yet. And they're the more, you know, bash, 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 as quick as you can sort of ones. Oh yeah, and then we go over. Now these two I both have in loose cartridge, the Super Cobra, which is not a not a bad version. Sorry, camera's decided to go stupid. Um, Time Pilot, yep, I've got a loose copy of that. I actually prefer the Coleco version of Time Pilot more than this one. Um, although this one does have the fifth stage, it just, it doesn't play that well. It's not that arcadey. Uh, now, Konami Frogger. I don't have that one, and I've never played that one. Looks pretty good. Yeah, 
Kings Valley, I do have that one. Uh, Konami Baseball, I've never played that one. I haven't played either of these, Konami's Golf and Pinball. Ah yes, Hyper Rally, which I got a complete copy recently, and Sky Jaguar, which I also completed recently. We have Yeah Kung Fu and Moppy Ranger. So excellent. So I'm sure there'll be people that'll be interested in that catalogue. Um, if that's not in scanned into the archives, um, people please let me know. And I'll scan it in. Okay, so two more titles. Uh, so not Kana Konami titles, complete unknown ones. Now in the last video, I got a title called Payload from Sony, and I'm actually thinking that this may this looks awfully yes. It's a, it's a similar game. It doesn't quite look the same, I think, or well, it could be the same. But anyway, it's American Truck, whereas that other one was Payload by Sony. But you have a look at the screenshots; and it looks very similar. I did have trouble working that one out, and I haven't had a chance to go back to it, so I'll probably have the same issue with this one. Um, it's all complete. Never heard of this one before. Here's the cartridge label. The cartridge label's a bit funny. It's starting to wear away on the top there. goes over the back. So different manufacturer. Smells of storage or smoking maybe. Um, so, unusual title, but uh, we'll happily give that one a go. And last but not least, this unpacking bar has probably gone on way too long, probably prattle too much, um, is a motorcycle game. Sorry, the cover goes around this way. TZR Grand Prix Rider. So, we'll flip it around that way. And we have a bit of a, an outrunny type game. Continues to astound me the, um, the number and ride range of games that came out for the MSX. So, here's the manual, which is a bit of a poster design. And we have, I think it's, uh, so TZR is the company, there, and on the other side, oh wow, is actually Zenek. It looks like the original MSX1 version of Zenek, that's, that's the one, um, well, no, there's two, I've got two missing, but that's, um, Oops, oh, I've got more pages here. Did not realise they were stuck together. That's one of the LS, uh, so sort of compile shooters I don't have. So, yeah, on, on the other side we've got the game we're looking at. And the page that just fell down, sorry about that. We don't really need to be looking at the top of my head, is... Yeah, so we've got two sheets on that. And what's this game? It's almost like it's out of a magazine, so there's like a review magazine. And there's another game there, MSX Soft Review. So that's MSX Soft Review, part one. 75, yeah, okay, so we're out of a magazine. We've got pages 73, 74, 75, and um, 76 out of the magazine. So I might have to scan those in. Right, so I haven't shown the cartridge yet. Nothing too exciting. The label looks in pretty good condition though. So it's an ASCII title. Um, yeah, so quite a few titles for uh, um, four different systems. 
I'm really not sure whether I'll get the, all the gameplays in this particular video. If not, I'll have a part two. Um, but there's so, quite a few games here that I've never played before at all, so it'd be good to have a good play with each of them. So, without further ado, we better go start doing that now. So here we go, Vapor Trail. This is actually now the second time I've played this, so I had a lock-up the first time. It's got speech, quite a bit of speech actually. I'm just going to go straight into, I mean you've got multiple fighters you can choose from. Um, but we'll go for the defaults. Now, I do have my idle fire set on, but I am pretty new to the game. But having played it once, I was on actually on my third life when it decided to lock up. So I've now learnt some of the rules. Learn some of the patterns. You've actually got a life bar, so you can, which is really good. You can hit up to three times. You don't lose your power ups when you um, take hits either. You have to watch some of the fire and some things come from behind. Oops, I lost my life point there. We've all shoot them up, so it's a matter of learning the patterns. Right, so that. So that gives us a very blessed type power up weapon. So it is rather nice that you've got. Oh, I fall for that every time. <laughs> That's right, you get a demonstration of how I fail in this game. So it does knock you right back. So the levels aren't particularly long, or well not, but I've encountered so far. So this is a weapon upgrade that I didn't get last time. So that gives us speed, a bit more maneuverability. Just gotta watch their fire patterns because they do a lot of this cross screen tight angle stuff. It doesn't take too long to learn patterns. You've really gotta let these ones fire before you go near them. Okay, special again. There's a lot more hitting power than our other shots. Now I'm trying not to screw this up this time. Alright, so that's got its main cannon. Which fires every time. Oh, did we get it, did we? Finally got past that section. I said I don't know whether. Yeah, it's just like a mid-level boss, so I was worried that the levels were going to be really short. Stuff coming from behind. It's got quite a bit of refreshed our power. We're, the power doesn't seem to be changing. Oh, and there we go. Might be a, oh, no. oh, we stay in the game. Okay, it doesn't knock us back. I haven't even tried pressing any of the other buttons, by the way. So. Tell you whether we have a bomb. Pressing. Hey, there we go. We do. Press the C button. Right. So I think that actually let off the entire power of that weapon in one burst, and that's like our bomb. That mission one complete. Yep. Now I could quite get into playing this game. So let's have a quick look at level two. Ooh, good for a 
sai. Então eu espero que eles parem. Oh, this is getting tight. Oh, and I'm dead. And you've got continue, so very enjoyable game. Very glad I got that one. Alright, let's try our next game. Okay, here we go, Kuru Tiger or Twin Tiger. Or Twin sorry. Yeah, Twin Tiger, I think it's called in our places. Or Twin Cobra. Always get these confused. Very like the um, arcade game. Watch those bullets. And very like uh, Raiden. So, it's one of my favourite games here. Yeah, this is pretty close. This is actually an arcade board that I have. I'm not very good at it though, I will say that. Um, now, saying that I have an arcade board of it, it actually hasn't worked for a little while. It's not starting up at all. I haven't had a chance to look into that and um, figure out what's happened. Uh, let's get power markers and things like that. You, although it doesn't appear at this stage, you do actually have uh, different weapon types. So, currently I believe we're on the red one. I can't actually remember what some of them are. So this is the red, the yeah, green. Which has a bit more hitting power, but obviously has less... ...spread out. Whoops, there we go. Sorry, itchy nose. What is distracting? So we've lost all our power ups. Whoa. Close calls there. Ah. Misjudging. Out of practice. Well, this is a very decent version, just like Raiden on um, the PC engine. Very good approximations of the arcade. Oh god. <laughs> I'm cutting it way too fine there. Mm, I might have another go at that because I didn't get very far. And I really do like this game. Let's continue. Now we do have bombs. Spread of fire. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh dear. This is really not a very good demonstration. Quite concentration there, just so I could get into the shoot 'em up mode, not make so many stupid mistakes. But you know, it's um, it's got a reasonable uh, 
rate, you've got the side scrolling play field. Yeah, what did we try last time? Green, wasn't it? I'm terribly sorry, not a very good demonstration. I'll have to have a bit more practice, but that's definitely the best version of the game. Um, and um, yeah, very happy to have that in my collection. All right, let's try the next game. Next we have Sidearms, or Hyperline Sidearms. Um, this is a game that I've actually owned for the PC Engine for quite some time. So this is a complete upgrade. And it's not a bad little shooter. Right, and you've got different, you, um, you know, shoot the power-ups to get different, um, turn them into different things. There you go, change weapon type. <laughs> Cow! Back to Basilius Prime would like that. Whoa, yep. Yeah. So obviously we are person in a mech suit. And, it's, and you may be thinking, oh, it's, you know, it's a side-scrolling shooter, but it's actually um, powered up now. So the game actually changes to a, um, you know, a vertical scroller and a Diagonal scholar as you progress through. There's ones where you've got to get you got to get used to. It. I'm just grabbing weapons that willy nilly here at the moment, just to give you a bit of a show. Yeah, it's got not a too bad soundtrack. some reasonable either way, I mean I've got a multi-directional shooting weapon at the moment. And I think you can get hit a couple of times when you're powered up. Even though I haven't played it for a while, you know, it's not too hard, so it's got a reasonably... Oops! <laughs> Lost me. I've got it back again. <laughs> um, so you're, pretty, you're pretty powerful in this one. you just got to remember to change the shooting direction when you need it. Yeah, so it's a reasonably, you know. Oh! There you go, that's life. Now yeah, we're right back down again. Now it's powered up as concerned. Oh, and there we go again. <laughs> okay, 
the different forms we picked up. Oh, there we go. I got killed very quickly there. Um, but it's actually a little hidden gem, that one. Um, and very cheap. You shouldn't pay a lot of money for this at all. So, um, and yeah, loose copy out for trade for anybody who's interested. All right, let's try the next game. Right, next we have P47. I've never played this one at all before. I've even been tempted to try it out on the um, uh, Ever Drive car. So we have a, see a horizontal shooter. So we do have two buttons active. Oops. <laughs> should have been pretty obvious that was going to shoot something at me. Right. And as we push in the direction, we get some fire in that direction. Oh, let's see that. so far. They're pairing a secondary weapon. Which the man should be good this is my first game. So, you know, it's a little laid back to start with, but it's starting to... Ah! Oh, charm. So, cool. Shooter that one, a um, bit you know, quite different style to the other two we had a go at, but um, uh, well worth playing. And once again, not a did, not an expensive game. So look out for that one. Um, yeah, it shows how many great shooter ups there are on the PC Engine. All right, I'm going to split this video into two. So this is uh, goodbye for now. Um, I will have part two out with the. Uh, any with the Famicom and the MSX games and the Sega game. I'll put all those into the into the next video. Alright, so thanks for all my subscribers, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.